Mr. Wick broke the rules. Oh, yes. And I haven't got the slightest idea where You're he is. You're mistaken. I'm not here for Mr. Wick. I'm here because Mr. Wick broke the rules in this hotel. Mm. The blood was spilt on the grounds of the Continental, was it not? Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, the body gets colder within these very walls. I'd like to see it. Santino D'Antonio. A newly instated member of the High Table slain by Mr. Wick while seeking sanctuary in the Continental. This is exactly the problem. Your hotel. Where is your fealty? I've been in service for over 40 years. Under the table. Serving the table. Everything is under the table. Excuse me? At such time, your successor will be named. I wanted to see where it didn't happen. Where what didn't happen? Where you didn't kill John Wick. You gave John Wick seven bullets. The high table is giving you seven days. Settle your affairs and find a new home for your birds. In seven days, you abdicate your throne. Do not make the mistake of thinking you exist outside the rules. No men do. You have seven days when you knew whom to assign any given task to in order to achieve the desired result. You don't anymore. Companies get bigger, modes of governance and delegation need to change to keep pace, or you get this. He couldn't. Mafi couldn't either. Their numbers dictate it's along, so that's all they could see. But he didn't understand, or wasn't willing, to put on paper what you needed him to put on paper. Justification for later. Proof that a good case could be made for the short. It's not an autoplay. Forget car sales. Take a deep dive into their financing department. When that music stops, there'll be no chairs left. But, but I assume there are other factors. You're really dictating your short play here. You know how your employees think, right? So you tell me. Someone who broke the rules and stood against the table. John Wick and all who helped. Killed scores of men this past week alone. Self. Very well, gentlemen. The Continental will now be reconsecrated. Good day to you both. Mr. Wick is gone that he is no longer on the street. Seems improbable. And yet, true. The last thing either one of us needs is Mr. Wick paying us a visit in the night. For both our sakes, I'll hope you see to it that this situation is taken care of, yes? I get that you're angry, but I think it's because I left before you could finish me off. The undercutting, the manipulation, and public and private humiliation, the lies and broken promises, all while I good-soldiered it and made you money. But how long really was it going to be before you sent me off to slaughter? I did what I had to do to survive and to win. You've got to understand that. I did it for me, not against you. Yes, I'll surpass your assets under management at the rate I calculate in three years at the earliest, eight at the latest. Bonnie Prince Charlie, yes. His troops slaughtered him, exiled from the kingdom. I anticipated that being your reaction. So do what you must, and I'll defend as I have to. I receive it as such. And you helped John Wick. He had a ticket. But a ticket does not stand above the table. Your penance will be paid in blood. My short position was actually quite small, just enough to get on the tote board. I certainly couldn't be seen doing it, yet fact, I made it happen. So while you'll profit, it's only fair I make more than you. I see that taking credit for my success in the midst of defeat is a kind of bomb, so you go on ahead. And if you still care to make a wager on the fight, I'll do a million at a buck fifty to one. Mr. Wick, it's a pleasure to meet you. I am an adjudicator. Have you decided to step down? I think not. And you, will you be putting a bullet in his head? Very well. The Continental Hotel, New York. New designation? Deconsecrated. Gentlemen, this institution is now deconsecrated. Business may now be conducted on Continental grounds. Since you are refusing to step down, and you are refusing a direct order, your lives are now forfeit. High table emissaries will be joining you presently to see the removal of your souls from the property. Good evening, gentlemen. You don't have a king. You'd have re-raised pre-flop. And you're never moving in on a queen here in case I have the king. I think you're on a gut shot. Four, five, or five, six. I think you're trying to bully me. 
and a bully's devastated when you stand up to him. I'm sorry. Call.